Metroid sucks. It's just another game where you play as some sort of robot thing and shoot stuff. This is supposedly a classic according to most people. I don't know why. Wait, what? You're actually playing as a girl the entire time? Okay, never mind. What really makes this game fun is that it's one huge scavenger hunt and you feel a sense of accomplishment each time you find a new power-up, such as the long beam, the ice beam, the wave beam, the marumari, which turns you into a sphere so you can drop bombs and move through really small spaces, the vario suit, which cuts Samus' damage in half, and the screw attack, which obliterates every enemy that comes in contact with Samus when she jumps and spins in the air. Screw attack. Where have I heard that before? Hmm. Hmm. Nah, forget it. What's really annoying is that you're playing literally through a maze, and if you get lost, good luck finding your way back, since there is no map for you to look at where you are. Just remember to search every corner and make sure you don't miss any missiles or energy tanks, because you're gonna need them to defeat Mother Brain. Ah, get off! How come something so cute be so annoying? Just look at it. Jellyfishes are cute, just like the ones in Finding Nemo. Also, if you die, you start at the beginning of the level with barely any energy, and if you ever want to continue where you left off, you have to put in a password. Ugh. And just when you defeat Mother Brain and think you beat the game, you only have a small amount of time to climb your way up and escape before the whole thing self-destructs. Or you'll have to start from the beginning of the level and make your way through the Metroids and Mother Brain all over again. But if you have enough patience to explore everything and survive the likes of aliens, metroids, and, uh, red donuts, then this game is definitely for you. Oh, uh, and did I mention you're playing as a girl?